video, we will be talking about soil formation. To start off, let's review why soil is important. Almost everything on our planet depends on soil. Plants get their nutrients and water from soil. It creates food for other animals. Soil is home to many creatures, including mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and insects. The four main components of soil are air. The tiny spaces in between soil particles allows for air to flow through the soil, which is critical for living things in the soil. Water. The air pockets also allow a space for water to flow, which is important for infiltration. It's also made up of soil particles, which include sand, silt, and clay. These components help determine soil texture, which is important in drainage of water through the soil. It's also made of organic matter. This is living and dead plants and animals that create the dark matter in the soil. So what is soil formation? Soil formation is the process by which soil is formed over a time as a result of interactions between the parent material, climate, topography, and living organisms. So what we're gonna do is make some soil cookies to explain soil formation. You can make these at home too. You will need one graham cracker, some chocolate frosting, some blue icing, sprinkles, preferably green, and a gummy worm. First, take your graham cracker. This represents the parent material. Parent material is the material base from which soil is formed. This can be bedrock, it could be formed from magma, or it could be metamorphic rock, which is changed by heat and pressure. Next, spread some chocolate frosting all over the graham cracker, making sure there are high and low points. This represents topography. Topography is the shape of the land. Think about how hills and valleys change how the land looks. Topography helps soil formation by determining how water flows over the land. A steep slope is going to create faster moving water, and fast moving water cuts away at the parent material. Now, apply blue icing in the shape of a river or a lake. This represents climate, since water is the most visible form of climate. The amount of rain and snow melt can affect how soil and minerals like salt are distributed. Temperature also affects how quickly soil forms. The increase in temperature means more biological activity, which increases the rate of soil formation. Now, take your gummy worm and place it on the cookie. This represents an organism. An organism is something that is living and helps break down organic matter. Next, add some green sprinkles. This represents organic matter. The processes that organisms have, such as a worm eating a leaf, help change soil composition by breaking down organic material. For example, the soil that grew under forest have a smaller organic layer compared to those soils that grew under a prairie. This is because each year portions of the prairie plants die and decompose, whereas in a forest, the trees live much longer, thus there is less organic material. Lastly, take a bite of your cookie. This represents time. The previous factors, parent material type, topography, climate, and organic matter keep affecting soils thus changing them as time goes on. Thanks for watching.